current green list is not working because, as I said, just about every country we have connected to is outside the parameters of what, of what would apply. Uh, even the much higher parameters that we applied on the 8th of September, which were multiple of what had been applied early in July, are now no longer uh, uh, valid. So, so it is not working and we do have to change our approach. I would also say that the mechanisms we have in place, the two-week restriction of movements, to use the correct term, it isn't quarantine, we have to be careful on this because different countries, and in fact a lot of countries would have much stricter rules around quarantine and what we have to do. Ours is more a restriction of movements, which was akin to what we did as a people in March and April last year. You could go to the shops, but you, you wanted to really reduce down your contacts with other people, stay within an area. But that, that's actually very different to what some other countries do, including the UK. But it's not working in my mind in that it isn't a con con control system. We don't have clear data on, how, on what sort of protections it's giving, how people are applying it. So I think it is appropriate for us to change our system, to look at some of the examples working in other countries, the likes of Germany, I could, I could cite as one example, where they, they look for a, a, a test uh, result in advance of travelling, or else if you haven't got that, then you have to have a test result when you've arrived in the country to be able to uh, break out of that their probably stricter quarantine system. So so uh, that approach is, uh, is the reason we're working, and we have to talk and work with the health authorities here and respect their mandate and, and requirement to make sure that whatever we put in place doesn't jeopardise the other health, met, the other health um, um, measures that we are taking as a country. And that is a, that is a difficult process. And it's difficult because uh, the uh, evidence around what is working keeps changing in this virus. So it, that is one of the reasons why it has been difficult in the last three months to get this absolutely nailed down in terms of what's the right approach to, to take. One thing we will commit to doing is to continue talking as we would always do as a government, as a country. We work best on a partnership basis to work with the airlines, work, work with the airports to, to get their views. And indeed, a lot of them, are, in my mind, have been doing very good work, looking at the options, looking to see what sort of testing system might work, where might we access it. Uh, so that sort of collaboration and cooperation absolutely will will uh, define what we will do. And included in that, then, is working with airports to look at if there are the need for uh, specific supports mechanisms. But I don't believe it would be right for us to ignore European law, to kind of to, 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 to try and do individual root supports unless there was a case where there wasn't uh, a range of services available, where we were seeing a significant fall in the availability of connected routes. In those circumstances, you would certainly look at that as an option, but I don't believe that in the current situation applies. If it did in the future due to a real dramatic fall in the, in the loss of, of con connectivity, of course we would look at, uh, at particular route supports, because there, there would be then, in that case, an essential strategic need for us to maintain that for, for, for uh, economic purposes.